today I feel like playing in this journal. Since I started my trashy journal, I haven't been back to this one, and I thought, well, let's mix it up a little bit. I just love this scarf, I tell you. So, I don't even remember how far we've gotten in here. Yeah, there's still a lot to be done. So let me set this aside. I'm going to show you the first thing I'm going to do, and then I'm just probably going to do the whole music thing, you know. What I want to do first, these are the um, file folders I get at the Dollar Tree. And for your money, you're best off to get the, excuse me, the legal size, which these are. Because if you get the same amount of legal or letter, you get more area on the legal for the same amount of money. So that's why I um, get the big ones. Now, the, this is what I do if I have little things I want to make tags out of. This is what I use to back it on. These were some puzzles that I found in a um, newspaper that I got when I had Mama over at the hospital. And I thought, well... I'll just make some little tags out of them. So what I'm going to do is glue it all of them on here as close as they'll fit. Okay, now you can leave the back just like it is. Don't throw this away because you, you'll be able to use it later. So when I cut these out, the back can be plain. If you're making a journal to write in, then that's what you would want to do ideally is leave it um, blank to color on, color on, journal on. But I want a pretty background. So I'm going to put this on it. Now, whenever I cut these out, I didn't cut them nice and neat because that'll give you, if you cut them the size you want them, then when you cut them off of here, you have to cut them down a little bit smaller. So, I just cut these. Anything that I'm going to make a tag out of, I cut a little bit bigger than what I want the finished product to be to make up for cutting it nice and neat with this. There's a pretty background now. I have this um, edge punch. I don't know what you call it, but I like to take it and round off my corners. Oh, come on now. There we go. Uh oh. That's easy. We will just do this. Okay, see from this side to this side, doesn't that look nicer? I think it does. So there's that. Now I want to find some... Let's just use this Baker's twine. Push them through the front. And then come back up through the loop in the front. My big old fingers have a hard time holding on to these little things. 
and then just pull it tight and I left a little bit too much on there but you know what I'm gonna leave it you can do that with ribbons twine any kind of thing you have and then there you have a tag so that's what I'm gonna do with all these here are our little tags I just use all Baker's twine different colors on them and so there's a little backs so I will put these aside and I have some things I pulled out of magazines I just hadn't cut out yet I'm going to work on those. 